Ow. I just ran over my own foot with my chair. Ow. Ouch. Let's see. Uh, I don't see Let's us on see. Twitch yet. Yes, now we're live on Twitch. It just came up. Oh, we're I didn't go uh, grab don't my see us on Twitch yet. Yes, now we're live on Twitch. Oh, and somebody's playing the game backwards like a true devil game. Who? Is that me? Uh, I think it's Sloopy. <laughs> Who? Me? Is that me? Uh, I think it's Sloopy. Who? Me? Is that me? Yeah, we won't. Everything's good. It won't last long. <laughs> yeah, Jason's here now, so nothing's gonna last. The good, the good is gone. The good, Hello? the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Welcome to another episode of the Coco Talk Game On Challenge Live, where this week we will be playing Devil Assault by Kevin Kalish. I'm sorry if Ken. I pronounce Ken. Oh, Ken my... Kalish. Oh, my bad. Um, my my apologies, Mr. Kalish. I was thinking your name was Kevin for some reason, but. Evidently, Ken is your the name. last name wrong, not the first and, name. And uh, I will have to change the uh, data in the um, in the descriptions also. All right. Um, here we are, already starting. Sorry, we were a little late. Had a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, I apologize for showing my screen backwards. But um, I have not looked into uh, Discord, who foolishly wants you to look at yourself ba a mirrored because of, well, I don't feel like getting into it. But yes, I am using the wonderful new Coco DV by AC of AC, AC's 8 bit zone with that wonderful. Uh, high resolution digital display and here we are joined joining me today is the ever present man himself david ladd what me no and Omnipresent. we also yeah, we have get him to play we also have our backup uh, game on man the man, the myth, the legend, Jim Rye. Hi. Greetings, Jim. I just died when you said that. That was the legend. Immediately <laughs> died. And then we have... Oh, jeez. The backup for everything that's Coco Talk. Even the backup, he's the man that stands out there and sits on the back uh, bumper and goes beep, beep, beep when Coco Talk backs up. Mark B. Greetings, Mark Hello. B. Hello. I'm uh, bandwidth uh, challenged tonight. Yeah, I think we all are. Or no, wait, that's mentally challenged. My my apologies. And then well, aside from the fact that all of internet kind of sucks lately, but yeah, well. Look at the bright side. At least you're not using dial-up. Uh, I'm almost there. I'm just a step yeah. above it. Oh, ISDN. I'm using phone <laughs> signals. <laughs> and our last streamer for the evening so far is the man, the myth, the legend, the Game On Challenge uh, my master himself, that uh, crazy Canadian... Ken of Canadian Retro Things. Hey, Ken. Oh, Reggie. I've been I watching a lot of Scooby-Doo. I need <laughs> shields. <laughs> and joining us on our stream this evening is the one, the man, the, the one and only Coco Man himself. Good evening. 
from the highways and byways of America. And I will say I'm probably only 15 minutes from a Dollar General somewhere. Ah, the CW. You're farther than that. Yeah, I always called them the CW. And people look at me as I'm strange and I say, it's the country Walmart. <laughs> because when I, when you find a cornfield, if you go through enough cornfields, you'll find a Walmart. But if you go through only a few cornfields, you'll find a Dollar General. They're everywhere, man. And a hello to our wonderful viewers and i will not say his name because he needs to come join us because uh -oh. he made a cool new uh modified version of devil assault with flippy colors and yeah i like it a lot he should come and join us so that we can see it oh You'll uh, see it, because guess what I've got loaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the uh, multicolor version going on, too, here. Yeah. It's, it's way too advanced for better games. Where does the flippy colors come from? We'll see <laughs> as we play. <clears throat> All righty. Hmm. All right, I guess I will start mains built-in recording. Please. Where's my Sticko D Joy? Two. Oh, there's my Sticko D Joy. These work. I greatly appreciate it. This game is no fair. I keep dying. I mean, you only get one bullet, and they get five. Of course, if, I, if I remember correctly, I was no good at this game when we were last on time. easy mode either, so... Mm -hmm. Beep! Want to see a mouse? No, just David Lab. Shush! <laughs> You're not supposed to... Ah! <laughs> um... My digital joystick doesn't adapter to not digital. Working. Oh, so how's the score at fifty four hundred uh, stack up? Um, About where not, you usually are. Not very high. <laughs> That's okay. It took me a while to. Good lord, that's like a Mark B score. Yeah, well, my ship goes keeps going left to the left side, and I can't move right. That's because you got in the wrong port. Uh, in the other port, it doesn't do anything. That sounds like that might be important. And let, it goes in the right right port, correct? Yes, I believe it does. Yeah, I have it in the right it, port. Well, it definitely doesn't go in the wrong port. <laughs> We're in rare form tonight. <laughs> Y'all are very helpful. You know that? I try not to be. <laughs> Life goal, not to be helpful. This is another game that's not afraid to throw you right into the action yeah. when you spawn. Mm. Definitely a lot of old uh, Coco games that are like that. So, my... Like other systems, we don't hold your hand. <laughs> not so made for the squeamish. So my analog to digital adapter doesn't work. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. I'm going to have to get my money back for it.
I know it worked at one time. I think. All right. Oh, blessed mother. Son of a Good. gun. You've got a burr. <laughs> no, we've got a David lad. Leave my burr alone. <laughs> oh, it's the uh, David lad. And I heard that David lad has, uh, has no plumage. Not at this time of year. Yeah. Molting season. Mm -hmm. oh, I could go for a good malt at the moment. All right. Now let's try this. It's the birds, man. Really? Really? Son of a biscuit? You were going to say biscuit, weren't you? <laughs> eh, I could go for a donut. So whoever's hitting the fire button, there is auto fire. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> that I remember from the first time we played this. <laughs> I probably fell for that last time too. Of course, the problem is if you miss, it takes it a long time to cycle back around. Greetings, Mr. Dave. Yes. Hello, Mr. Dave. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, dang it. Who invited Mr. Dave? I did. He's just going to he's just going to make our, my score look bad. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm just doing that all on my own. Oh, I found the sprawlings. Where the points are. Really? I got sprained. I got to the second bombing wave. I got to the robots once. Uh, someone wake oh. up Curtis. Yeah, he's probably working. He's always working when we do this show. He's probably snowed under. Wait, have you guys already snow? got snow? I think Saskatoon did. We don't here, but instead we've got oh, like I... wind and rain. Well, I'm sure. It's, I'm sure it's his windy season. Because he always seems like he's busy. Yeah, he's always moving. Hmm. Done. 
Sound like a turbo. It's like an excited leprechaun. <laughs> really? Is there another kind of leprechaun? Really? Ooh, the robots are mad. The robot wave needs some optimizations. Dang, it moves slow. Really? Damn it. Get up there. Why does the bottom one? Well. Right. What I was trying to say earlier is this version doesn't remember your high score and the other version did. <laughs> Sproins? Yeah, I noticed that. Get away from me, Sproins! Oh, you got to embrace the Sproins. They're worth points. Embrace your inner Sproin. I'd rather not. Cost too much <laughs> for doctor's visits. <laughs> <laughs> Have to get surgery to take care of that. <laughs> if you experience more than four hours of sprains, consult your doctor. I think I think we need, I think Dave and David, I think you need to oil. You need oiled or something. You sound like you sound squeaky. Do you have a, a, a squeaky hinge there or something? Yeah, it's chair squeaking. <laughs> Really? Oh, so this. What are these? Mini dragonflies? Holy crap. <laughs> this game actually has audio? Why? Yeah, it yes, it does. <laughs> Cool. Oh, oh, oh. If I keep this up, I might beat my high score so far. Why would you want to do something like that? Yep. All right, beat. My high score so far. That's easy for you to say. Not so much! <laughs> I do I do too much of that, I'm gonna blow out my voice. <laughs> Woo! I need, I, and I, I need my voice, so I, I Not a second wave of the robots, no What's this robot wave you keep talking? Yeah, like I don't understand. Me either. There's robots and they wave at you. <laughs> and then you step on a chihuahua. <laughs> is that what that is? Oh, that poor chihuahua at David's place. Hey, I made the robot wave. No! Yeah. Yay. And that was wrong with Carol the tail. I think I just lost my eardrums, though. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I, think, I, think just, I think you just kicked the chihuahua. <laughs> Judge! <laughs> hey, so weirdly enough, if you have it on the guided bullets one, it remembers your high score. The other one doesn't remember your high score. I'm on the high number three. That's the guided bullet. That's weird. 
Dave, I do like the color changing. Thank you. Ooh, it's awesome. Yeah, it works on composite as well. It doesn't have to be RGB. Well, you know, oh, I can change. Game. I can change the color too, and I don't have to use all that fancy coding stuff. I just have to go like this. Oh wait, that makes it black and white. See. <laughs> Oh, you dirty hoe. It's the same hackable code. If you don't like the salmon color or some other colors, you can change them. If you don't like salmon, the cocoa really isn't for you. You should try uh, sloppy or trout. Shows that color because it works the same on composite and RGB. Man, this game does not like me. Sure, it does. It just it just wants to make you stronger. Give you much chance when you respawn. Nope. Wow, I just transposed the two digits in my score. Photoshop? Mm -hmm. No, my previous high score is 15,100. And now my high score is 51,100. Yeah, that's good. I think 49 so far is my high score. Now let's see if I can transpose the zero and the five. I got attacked by robots in pajamas. I'd rather be attacked by pajamas, uh, uh, bananas in pajamas. Look at what the bananas. What you do with bananas in your own home is not need to be uh, said on air, Slippy. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas, they're coming down in pairs. But if they're bananas, how are they pairs? I don't know. Just how the song goes. Oh, no, they're inside the pairs. Sounds, sounds like something that happened at the furry convention. So the pairs oh, ain't oh, bananas? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think we want to go there either, Jason. <laughs> I've never been to such an event. Yeah, it's a lot of fuzz flying around. Speaking Who from knows? experience, David Ladd. No, CSI. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't never heard of that term before until that one episode of CSI. What? Never I... heard of furries before? Nope. Really? You live such no. a sheltered life, David Ladd. 
I guess yeah, and once you learn something like that, you never forget it. I need Woo. brain bleach. <laughs> uh. David Ladd, brain bleach. <laughs> Available at your local CVS and Walgreens. <laughs> Now with OxyCortex scrubbers. And for now with fifty percent more. Now with fifty percent more. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it, but uh, my nickname is uh, rooted in furrydom. I've known furry since I was in high school. Now oh, there's a um, there's a there's a quite a large. Uh, convention every year in Pittsburgh. I always see it on the news, but I've never been there, but I guess I guess it's a big deal. Yeah. Sure you haven't. You're kind of furry, aren't you? I don't have time for another hobby. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, furry is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Uh, well, I don't have time for one, another one of those either. And are they are they furries or are they f cosplay? Uh, I have no idea. See, the problem up here in Canada, if there's a furry convention in the winter time, you don't know if people are just dressed for winter or they're going to the convention. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Because everybody, everybody oh, looks like furry skin, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, are we there yet? Yeah, you know the difference between a furry and a cosplayer? Nope. Nope. A cosplayer is dressing up as a character. A furry actually believes that they are that person, that character. You're serious? Well, they're like, I think they're like, amp what's the word I'm looking for? Like, anthropomorphic? Yeah, an anthropomorphic. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because that thing in Pittsburgh is called like Anthracon or something. I'm like, yep. okay. Yeah. So. It's funny because in the early days, uh, you you the uh, furries would look down on the cosplayer because they would think, oh, they're not real. Sort of like uh, when uh, America Americans go over to Europe and visit, and they even though they're all humans, they're like. Oh, they're Americans. They're second-rate citizens. So, a lot of them would say, "No, I'm not American. I'm Canadian." But um, yeah, the uh, furries would look down on the cosplayers. So are you saying, no. so are you saying furries are Canadian? Yes. <laughs> Only in the winter time. Only in the winter time. Uh, some of them year-round. Oh, I can't wait to see what Stevie says about this conversation. <laughs> yeah, this, this one's really gone off the rails. Yeah, sort of like uh, when so, uh, you can tell someone's a furry when they ask you what your first sauna is. Oh, who a what a? Your first sauna. Your first sauna. What what your uh, per your persona is as a furry? Oh, the sauna, like that really hot steamy room where you, you know. Yeah, exactly. I was probably saying. No, no, that's a sauna. I'm sorry. Uh, I... Oh, I guess I gotta go down. Oh, where's my... Gotta know oh. when to hold them. Gotta know when. Uh, I tied my high score. I should have taken a picture at the 9,000 I got because I don't think I'm ever going to beat it. Here you are. So what's caused the high score to go away? I don't know. Bad it's programming. Weird. Well, no, because I last got... for like one game. I blame Amish hackers. Okay. Because my last screenshot I've seen has like you just whatever. My bullet went right through him. Why? Bad collision detection? I don't know. 
I'm gonna blame Mr. Dave because he was messing around with the code. <laughs> the game works fine. <laughs> no! it's, like the worked, it's like the machine worked fine with the tech out there. Yeah, Terry, no one uh, cried uh, asparagus, so. Hey, it's all about the Coco Cats. Yeah. You dirty son of a. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have David Ladd dressed up as Coco Cat, because he can go. That would be Coco Cat wearing a Santa hat. I beat a high score somehow. Why does it have to come so low to shoot at me? What are you, Stormtroopers? Like you. They're, it's I the think, only way they're going to hit you. That was rather interesting. That was a glitch. You know, oh, normally boys. you have two... Uh, you know how you normally have two... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, what's the first one? The bombing run? Yeah. Waves. Yeah, I only had one. When it started... It did. It showed the the thing, the uh, bombing run, and then just it, the screen yeah, it went orange. Yeah, did that to me once too. I there, I still never made a pass it to see if that was the first or second one. Yeah, it it it, it showed up orange, and then it when I finished the screen. I'm mostly not even getting past the first level anymore, so. There's more than one level. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. Oh, look. My high score save is back. I think it only saves your high score if it's a really pathetic score. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you stare at it. It's taunting you, making fun of you. Well, it saved mine, and then now it's gone. Yeah, wow, it's like what? it lasts for one game, and then it goes away. What? Well, normally I see it after I've died. It shows the highest score on the top right. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. It was there for one game, and then it went away. It's more of a last score than a high score. Hey, are you kidding me? Nope. Ah! Absolutely. It just kept putting, it just kept respawning me in the middle of a bunch of bullets. Yeah, yeah. That, done that to be me too. Killed me three times. Yep. I could have been. That's why it says devil in it. It's I could have drive been a, you crazy. I could have been a contender. I had 39,000. <laughs> Not anymore. Hey, no. I got 5,800. Hey, I'm up to 69,000. Who's right. cheating? <laughs> They're sure. And I've, I've never seen anything more than this one this corner. Alright, let's watch this guy play. He seems to be professional. Oh, you dirty son of a... <laughs> it seems the more the game plays, the more errors and glitches you see in it. Oh, but I 
I'm not going to clean it. Sure, that's just not a bad RAM chip for you. Damn it! Stop spawning me right where there's bad guys. Hmm. hmm. No! So I've discovered it keeps your high score up there as long as you beat it every game. The minute you don't beat it, then uh, you don't. It doesn't keep it up there. Yep. I think hmm. you're right. You don't deserve that score anymore. Don't! It's like, what have you done for me lately? Exactly. Yeah. It's like my job. It's like, the big deal was last week. What have you done for me this week? Mm -hmm. uh. Seriously? Come on! Stop spotting me in spots where I'm gonna die. Ah, for... Yeah, I hate this game. Really? Who chose this game? My score is 6,800. Who's the idiot that chose this game? I think you're spending a complaint with the council. I'm, I'm lodging my official complaint. <laughs> well, you could always try Predator. <laughs> You first. <laughs> Been there, really? done that. <laughs> it's a Canada it's right classic. Man. Yeah, but you haven't tried it on the Game On Challenge live. That's a no, whole different that, experience. That'll be the last Game On Challenge ever. Hmm. So I'm using the guided bullet mode, and I'm finding standing still works better than just dodge the bullets. I never could get the hang of the guided ones. Oh, beat my high score by another 50. <laughs> Seven back. Oh, good lord, come on. Oh, there we go. It's it only gave me one uh, screen to have to ah. Well, I made it to robot assault because it glitched. Yep. All right, I'm taking up David Ladd on his thing to play Predator. No, <laughs> I'm going to see which one's worse. Uh, <laughs> you think we're going to harm yourself? You need to call the hotline. <laughs> It seems, like, seems like playing, playing Predator may be uh, considered harmful. Yeah, um, <laughs> remember, I am a professional game player, so do not try this at home. <laughs> no, or <problem>. anywhere else. <laughs> Really need to, you really need to oil that, oil that kid. <laughs> uh, lordy. Oh, apparently it's not going to work. It, oh, right, because I'm using my other computer. That's that's pretty though. Look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah, 
Oh, you don't have 512K in that one? Or nope, I don't have 512K in this one, so no Predator, uh, yeah, sorry. Unless, unless you have the real thing, yeah, unless you have the cartridge, then no, you can't. Actually, you know, I might actually have the cartridge. Yeah, the cartridge will run out of 128, just not the dump. 5,100, 5, 51,500. Yay. Ooh. I've got this game here, uh, I've got this demon attack on cartridge. Don't know what that one is. Galactic attack. Boy, I have a lot of attack games on cartridge. Ooh, personal finance. Ooh. Is that how you get all your frustrations out as a Canadian? Personal finance, uh... Personal finance, I think that's an upcoming game of the week, isn't it? Color scripts it. Yeah, um, April 15th. Super <laughs> logo. Oh, 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 That should be on the request list. Don't we have a April 1st? Or was that last year? <laughs> right. Dude. <laughs> Does it look like I have? Um, Perry, I'm playing with a joystick on real hardware, Coco 2. And I don't know what else everyone else is using. I do believe um, Ken uh, is using a uh, real joystick because he's using real hardware. Yep. Um, Jim Rye, I would venture to guess, is using a joystick. VCC with an Xbox joystick. Yeah. Yeah. And David Ladd, he... I'm not going to go there. David Ladd, we don't know what David Ladd is up to. We don't use... We the, never do, though. We don't use the word joystick and David Ladd in one sentence because it creates problems. <laughs> yeah, it gives a new meaning to Thrustmaster. Great, we do. That's a brand of joystick. Yes. <laughs> it is. That's that. That's your story, David. We'll let you stick to that. Uh, uh, good what? night, everybody. <laughs> Why? What? What do you think we would think you meant, David? Or do you have your mind in the gutter? He has Gutter. He is it that high? Mm -hmm. ah, we were thinking the same thing. Is David giving Gutter Mines a bad name right now? The possibilities are endless. <laughs> David's just going to be quiet and play his game now. He's just going to sit there and play with his joystick. His thrust master. <sighs> Harry, aren't you glad you asked? <laughs> I don't think you can play on keyboard with this game, can you? Uh... Really? If you're on an emulator, you can. Well, again, yeah, yeah. Who uses an emulator, though? That's so... Oh, Emulation. <laughs> yeah, Terry says, with force feedback. A thrust master with force feedback. There you go. Boy, I'm not very good at the don't die in this game. That's the key. Wait, there's there's keys in this game too? <laughs> Pick up the keys. Why do we still have me highlighted? I'm like the worst player on here. Because 
it seemed like the right thing to do. I think we, should, we should highlight Sloopy. <sighs> no. You see, your screen is so small, we can't see it unless I highlight it. That's, oh, see, that's the one that needs the microscope. I see. The, that's the plan. Yeah, because he doesn't have a thrust master. No, sadly not. We're talking about thrust masters now? Oh, my. Actually, right now I'm using an 8 bit dough. Mm -hmm. I'm using a uh, Handy Deluxe joystick. Me too. That was originally uh, sold with a with a Tandy one thousand. Actually, this is one of Rick Ulan's uh, rebranded uh, junior joysticks. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had uh, bought a whole bunch of them from uh, that company that was blowing them out. They were seven bucks each, new in box, and if you bought more than ten. You, they would give them to you for under five each. And when I decided to go and, yeah, I guess I'll get a few. They'd sold out. Because the Tandy people knew what they could do with them. Because there's not that many uh, IBM juniors out there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the Tandy people always know what they can use those joysticks for. Yeah. Well, they've been selling them for that price for like five years because they had so many of them. It's just that no one really knew that they were selling them that cheap. And then I guess someone found out because they all of a sudden ran out. And then a week later, you saw someone selling them for five, four or five times as much on eBay. Well, I picked up one on eBay for about $15 and used it to repair my uh, Tandy joystick. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize that they could be used on the Tandy until like a few days before they sold out. And if I would have known, I would have just grabbed a whole bunch of them. I just scavenged it for parts, the one that I bought. So. Yeah. Well, these were like brand new in the box. Well, this was a brand new in the box, still sealed. Yeah. Now it's still in the box. It's only, but it's only about half there because the other half of it's in my uh, Tandy Deluxe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I have two Deluxe joysticks, and I know I have I've actually, three uh, Black Beauties. I've got four, and actually one of them is the original TRS eighty uh, single button. I. Hmm. Unmodified. Usually people modified those to add the second button, so. Yeah, I don't know what my other one is. Okay, my goal tonight is I'm going to beat 9,000 at some point. Wasn't this the game that I've like played only like three games the entire show? Yes, it was, but you were playing that was on the easy level. Yeah. yeah As someone... you can see, it's a little bit more challenging on the harder level. Yeah. Yeah, someone was playing it on the easy level in uh, yeah. posting scores, and I was like, hey, you know. <laughs> the fact that it still says level zero up there. <laughs> yeah, kind of gives it away. Wow, they honest mistake, I would say it. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> All right. There. Ooh, twenty one twenty. There's my score, twenty one twenty. On level five. Mm. 
Yeah, you're looking at it all backwards. <laughs> yeah. Because of the way Discord shows the thing. Well, one thing about it, if mine was showing it backwards, it would still be level one. <laughs> That'd be seven, right? It would just be a deformed one with a little hump on its back. No, oh, okay. All right, I made it to the robot assault. Yeah. And I died. <laughs> That's what you do there. But new high score, 9,500. Woohoo! Yay, me. I rock. There you go. It's the little things in life that make me happy. Yeah, you have to embrace the little things. I think I pulled my sprung. <laughs> oh, no Curtis tonight. This really needs to let you have more of one full time.
So I see Scott Cooper says sproings are the secret to high scores in this game. What's yeah. a sproing? <laughs> one down. Oh, one down. It's what comes yeah. after the, the robots, I believe. There's a level after robots? You mean robots don't just go until they kill you? Nope. They do with me. What robots? All about five seconds I last on robot level. Oh, pfft. Yeah. And maybe sprawlings are especially worth a lot of points. <sighs> Die, evil things. Come on. Three deaths right in a row. Bam, bam, yeah. bam. It really likes to uh, respawn you right when there's something about to kill you in the middle of the screen. All right, this is this is it. I'm gonna get a high score on this game. Okay, this is the one. Come on, Sproings, give it to me. <laughs> oh, they did. They stomped me. You asked for it. Oh yeah, I really know how to ask for it. <laughs> yeah! Damn it! Ah! 
Ah! Well, hey, new high score. I beat my old one by 200. Woohoo! Oh, I will be back in a moment. Thanks for the warning, sir. <laughs> Maybe if I can figure out stupid Discord. There we go. Lost pretty heavy. I'm not getting any better tonight.
Texas Foosballer, how's it going? Hello, Foos. Oops, 70,000 playing. You got 70,000. No, 7950. Oh. I broke 7,000. I mean, I got to die three times first, and then I finally get into a rhythm. Who broke 70,000? Nobody. Wait, if, if Texas Foosballer is watching us, why isn't he playing at Mech Warrior right now?
Okay, well, I think I'm done myself. I've died enough. And what's your high score? I will tell you in just a moment. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, moment's up. Tick, tick, tick. <coughs> So I had to fill out this uh, sign up for the service, and they decided they had the information to put up the security question. So it looks like forty-seven thousand six hundred was my highest. Yeah, about the bottom. On the bottom. Low score. Uh, what Did he you... say he likes being on the bottom? No, I'm, I'm not on the bottom this time. <laughs> no, we don't judge. So anyway, I would have to sign up with the security questions. And of course, none of these will find me. I don't have a favorite singer. I don't have a favorite. So one of them was, what was your favorite restaurant? You want to keep your mind? Alice's restaurant. Remember Alice's restaurant? <sighs> <laughs> Boy, that was funny. That felt flat. Is that Mark that sounds so muted? What, the person that sounds like they're talking like if they're across the room from the microphone? Yeah. Is your mic on, Mark? Well, you know what? I got a feeling I've got the wrong damn thing selected. Let me throw it. No wonder nobody's hearing me. <laughs> uh, is this one any better? Yes. It's much better, yeah. Okay, yeah. For some reason. Uh, okay. All right. Well, anyway, let me go back to, to my story. I have to sign up with these uh, security questions. And none of them mm -hmm. tried it. But one of them was, uh, what's your favorite restaurant? So mm -hmm. I immediately thought of Alice's Restaurant. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Yeah. Hey, the same thing. you guys understand. <laughs> All right. For some reason, this microphone quit working for a while. Yeah, you know, when I was in college, I used to have to walk to school, and it was about uh, uh, six miles, I think. And uphill I, both ways, right? Yeah, yeah. There was uphills on both ways, and you I had a CD that. player, and I had three CDs. One was. Uh, Alice's restaurant and I could play the CD twice and I would get to work I'd get get to the school after listening to it all the way through twice the whole thing or just the side one CD whole thing oh, the whole thing oh, okay Yeah, because uh, the other CDs that I had uh, was uh, Black Flag the first four years. 
Well, that's quite a range of taste you have there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they are a li little uh, far on the uh, musical spectrum. <laughs> well, they both did weed, didn't they? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, But as the uh, song goes, uh, uh, smoke the weed they had in Vietnam. Yeah. And the third one I had was, not sure if I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, the best of bluegrass from uh, the Grand Old Opry. Okay. <laughs> You really had it covered. Yeah. I thought you said you, I thought you were gonna say you had some kind of gangster rap CD. <laughs> Actually, I had I had Beastie Boys, and it got broke. Which Beastie Boys? Um. Oh man, the one that had a lot of their hits on it. You mean their first one, "License to Ill"? Yeah, that wasn't actually their first one, but yeah. Well, their first big hit. One. Yeah, that was that was the album. Yeah, it was funny because the reason why I bought it was they before they started doing rap, they actually did uh, punk. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine had a couple uh, tapes of them. And... Actually, I, I used to have a tape of uh, Shania Twain when she used to be in a punk band. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have very many CDs because I used to have about uh, 20 or 30. But when I was moving, my uh, former roommate asked to borrow them, some of them. And... Because, I mean, I used to... Well, I had more than that. I probably had, like, 50. And then my former roommate asked to borrow them. And I was like, sure. Well, he and my other roommate got into it. And they got broke. Because when I moved out, the uh, there was some trash left in my room. And my... One roommate said he would take it out on trash day for me. And that was like like Tuesday or Wednesday. I moved out and trash day was Monday. And my the other roommate, he was like, no, I want you to come get it out of here now. And this was like Friday. And I'm like, well, John's going to take it out on Monday. And he goes, no, I want you to do it now, mister. And my... The neighbor that I was good friends with, who'd, who'd been living there next to him for a couple years, because he, the one guy, he'd been there a couple years, and when his, he and his girlfriend moved out, uh, mo broke up, and she moved out, that's when he uh, started renting the other two rooms, and uh, I rented one, hit, and John rented one, and, and I moved into the basement and said, hey, we can get a fourth roommate and make the rent even cheaper, and he's like, cool, and then his girlfriend moved in and things went downhill from them there because she was a not um, a nice person well let's just say she was an okay person but she was a bit on the uh, self-centered self important side of things <laughs> and she could be alright but she also felt that uh, she was God's gift to men, and she was no trophy wife, that's for sure. So basically a legend in her own mind. Yes. And he flipped out, and my CDs were sitting in the living room next to the CD player entertainment center. And he's like, if you do not... If you don't come and get get this shit out of here uh, before tomorrow at noon, then uh, your uh, 
say goodbye to your CDs. And I'm like, dude. So I tried calling John. John wasn't home. And this was before cell phones because this was like the mid 90s. So I called the neighbor and I talked to him, told him what had happened. And he's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no. And uh, he goes, that basement was a mess before you moved into it. And you cleaned it all up. And he's worried about a, a pile of trash. And I'm like, yeah, it's like literally sitting in a box that's like 18 inches square by about three foot high. And it's in one single uh, stack. And, to and uh, John said he'd take it out on, on trash day and Monday. And he goes, that is freaking ridiculous. Let me go talk to him. Well, he went next door to talk to him. And evidently it was like... 10 30 11 11 o'clock saturday morning and when uh evidently when the neighbor went and talked to him he got pissed and uh went and broke him nice sounds like a peach of a guy yeah um usually it was an all right guy it's just that for some reason, sometimes he would just get in, into these moods that were ridiculous. He would demand things to be done immediately under his timeline, under his condition. Other than that, he was a really good guy, really cool guy. Can we go back to talking about the furries? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Jason's <laughs> curious. He's uh furry curious. Yeah. Furry <laughs> curious. <laughs> I guess guess now the thing is is what kind does he want to play with? You meant I was just trying to re-steer the conversation. Yeah. And I thought that would be funny. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, well that's good. My work here is done. Uh, no, it's not. Not because you brought it up. Now we need to know how far you're willing to go with it. <laughs> the closest I ever got to the furry convention was I walked by. It was near the convention center. And they had like a, a parade that went in and then back, you know, out and back into the convention center. And I. I saw some of them walk by. That was, that's as close as I've ever gotten. And I don't even remember why I was downtown by the convention center. But And what was your first sign up? I, I was Basically, just, Jason I saw was, the, uh, the, the um, parade going by and was just thinking, man, don't you make me feel funny down inside? Well, yeah. he, it was like, that, that's different. But to each their own. He saw one of the foxes, and it was like, ooh, she got a nice tail. A nice fluffy tail. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's so uh, what happened. <laughs> Literally chasing tail. So how about your roommate that broke all your CDs? <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach me. Yeah. Nah, he, he was an all right guy, just... So, like I said, sometimes he would get in a bad mood. He was a uh, bartender and just didn't. And he would like, he would let shit get to him, but not let it go. So. Sounds like a. Is what? It sounds like a psycho. Yeah. Yeah, more often than when I lived there, more often than not, he'd come back like a day or not even a day later, or sometimes a day at most, and apologize for his behavior. And he would say, Yeah, I had a rough night at work because of this or that or whatever. Maybe he was a closet furry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was funny because we were talking about his truck because he had a uh, an F 150 with a uh, six cylinder in it. And uh, he was talking about how he was trying to portray a certain image 
And I says, with a pickup truck? He goes, yeah. And I says, what, a redneck? And he goes, no, a sportsman. <laughs> I mean, it was, a, I mean, honestly, I mean, except for that one, one thing about him just getting things in his mind and not deviating from it, he was a pretty decent guy. And then the other, the John, he was like, I saw him a few days later. I was like, did you finally take the trash out? He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, oh, Jesus Christ. He goes, I don't even want to get into that. But yeah. I was like, why? What happened? He goes, yeah, when I came home from uh, class this Saturday, um, me and, um, God, I can't remember what the neighbor's name was. He goes, yeah, me and him went out and uh, I brought it up and we put it in the back of his truck and took it over to the, uh, to the, um, to the path mark and put it in the dumpster just so we that he'd shut up about it. Nice score, Jim. Well, thank you. Keep you know, about done. You know, you weren't supposed to get over fifty one thousand five hundred. <laughs> Hello, it's Ken that was supposed to beat you. Well, you knock a zero off your score, Jim, and that's just about my score. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the zero before the five. <laughs> These sprungers, I'm going to have to go. Hmm. You're going to go? Yeah. I guess we're going to have to watch this professional Canadian play. Where? Is Curtis is here? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, um, evidently uh, Curtis said that uh, he just got in. Yeah, he's so. not. Unless we run long, he's not making it in tonight. Yeah. So I guess that we're going to have to run long so that he can come in and show us how it's done. I don't need to be shown up by more people. <laughs> oh, don't worry. There's enough of us to go around to show you up. Yeah. So, uh, any questions, comments, or criticisms on my, uh, on my, uh, stream and my Coco 2? With, with your stream on your Coco 2? Yeah, that's... I'm I'm running on real hardware. I'm running my oh. uh, Coco DV. Oh, okay. Looks It looks nice, other than... Yeah, it's flipped on the stream. You're not, back, you're not backwards here. Yeah, I wouldn't show backwards there. Because I'm, I'm sharing my... Uh, um, my Discord, the stream is going to show me uh, flipped. Oh, okay. But on your Discord, it's not going to show flip. That's so confusing. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, is that people have been complaining to Discord about it for five years to, to either fix it or make a, uh, make a, uh, um, a config setting for it, and they haven't done it. Well, you know, they've got a lot of other things to do. They have to keep making those updates that uh, lose all my um, settings, so I have to redo my settings every time there's an update. Yeah. That's got to take some work. Hey, yeah. they, they're just copying Microsoft, because every time uh, Microsoft comes out with an update, I have to reset my privacy settings. Yeah. Every time Microsoft comes up with an update, I have to just stop work for about 15 hours while the stupid thing updates. Well, on that note, I got some stuff to take care of, like food for my brother and I, so I will catch you guys later. You're not allowed to eat. I need oh. a drink. I'll be right back. Later, okay. guys. And I'm, uh, See you later. I'll and, just sit here and entertain everybody. And it's a good thing that uh, Mr. Lad's not here because I'll be drinking a squirt. <laughs> oh, I'm going to... 
wine down because I'm running out of gas. I'm going to die because I'm good at that. Oh, actually, it's a half squirt because I don't have a full one. Well, I'm going to run off to bed. All right. Have a good night. Nah, right, you too. Have a good one. All right, bye. Jeez. Oh, man. I don't know why this is the one game I just cannot get the hang of. All right, I'll try one more. Yeah, we got to go for at least another 15 minutes here, Slippy. Oh, we do? Got to make that two-hour mark. Uh... <clears throat> Ooh, I know. I should fire up some Nitrous 9. That'll bring Curtis on. <laughs> I do think it's interesting how when you die, your bullet still goes. Yeah. And can kill stuff. Yeah, well it can still and you can still spear it. And when your new person when your new ship comes, it is offset. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. I'm just not paying attention because I'm going for my all-time high score here. Well, not really, but. Ooh, 6,400. All right, I made it to the robots. And I died right away. <laughs> All right. We can continue to play, but I'm going to put this in the can. Uh, Damn it. All right. Thank you for joining us on another wonderful Poker Talk game on Challenge Live, where we played Devil Assault the second time in the uh, Poker Talk Game On Challenge. Join us on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time of the U.S. where we will be have, having the uh, high scores listed and the new Game On Challenge for next week. Coco on!